one thing is for sure is that the weather here in New Hampshire is constantly changing from snow to rain to wind to sunshine right now. And uh, it's just this change of, uh, you know, winter to the spring is quite tumultuous. But anyway, the, um, what I want to do in this video is to share with you a video that I made a couple of years ago with the launch of the ESRCM line of instrumentation system that we helped develop and create the protocol for its use. And it's a reciprocating file system that is uh, constant taper or four taper preparations. And uh, I'm going to share that with you, but there's going to be another video on the topic because because two new files were just launched for the ESRCM that include a extra small size finishing file, which is a 2004, as well as a scout file, which is an austenitic version of the ESRCM scout file. So that's going to come in the following video from this. But in this one, let's take a look at the introduction to the ESRCM line of instrumentation. The ESRCM files were developed for those people who are fans of safety and simplicity of reciprocating systems but want a more minimally invasive preparation than can be filled with the simplicity and efficiency of hydraulic condensation. I proposed a protocol for the ESRCM files with the same basic idea and inspiration as the blend protocol, emphasizing simplicity with the goal of reducing the total number of files needed to instrument any given root canal. For this system, you need to use the Endosync Plus handpiece or an equivalent reciprocating handpiece as the ESRCM files cut in the reverse or counterclockwise direction. The system is made up of three master files, sizes 30, 40, and 50, 04. And deciding which file to use is based on a gauging primary file size 2506. In smaller canals, a 1703 file is used to also help you enlarge the apex before taking a master file to the apex. And that's all that you have, only five total files. And the protocol is super simple too. First, you achieve working length with a size 10 hand file. As usual, a very thin canal, you may want to also use an orifice opener to achieve coronal flaring first first before working that size 10 to the apex and measuring working length. Once working length is determined, use the primary file 2506 to gauge the canal size that you're actually dealing with. Canals are either small or large, and you'll find out which one by lightly working the 25 in a few passes in the canal and then see where you end up relative to your full working length, which you already determined. Now, if the primary file goes all the way straight to the apex or the full working length without much effort, you have a large canal on your hand. So choose either a size 40 or 50 master file and then complete the preparation by working that file to the apex. Once your master file has reached the apex, dry and fill the canal with the matching BC cone and BC sealer using hydraulic condensation. If the 25 gauging file doesn't reach the apex after light instrumentation, then you're dealing with a small canal. And what you should do is you should work the canal to size 15 hand file first. Now you could do that by just using hand files, or you could use the ESRCM scout that's been provided to you, which is a 1503, to help you achieve that a little bit more efficiently. But either way is fine. Now, once you've enlarged the canal to a size 15 hand file or the scout, you can now then use the 3004 master file in these smaller canals and work the, to the apex while recapitulating and irrigating intermittently during this process. After 30 has reached the apex, do your final irrigation, dry and fill the canals with the matching size 3004 BC cone or one size smaller cone, whichever one is a good fit and has some tug back. Then use hydraulic condensation to complete the obturation. And voila, this is a very simple instrumentation technique and because of the reverse OTR motion and or reciprocation, it's also very safe. To sum it up, you have three master files to choose from. Achieve working length with a size 10 in large canals and a size 15 in smaller canals before using that master file to finish to the apex. But also keep in mind that in some wider canals that have more coronal flare, you may want to choose to use the 2506, the primary file, as your actual master file and then finish those cases with a 2506 matching endosequence BC cone. So you have lots of versatility for small and large canals with this system. With this protocol, you'll find out that most canals end up needing two files to complete, and the more difficult canals may need two to three files to complete. I really like the ESRCM files clinically, and I'm proud of the clinical protocol that I've developed for their use. But more importantly, I'd love to hear back from you in terms of your feedback after using this file and the system. As usual, send me an email or drop me a quick comment or a note on social media with any questions or concerns that you may have about this technique or any other questions.